Greetings, my name is Murtaza Hader, and this video is about the two things you must know before regression models in IBM SPSS. The two things are, do not use the regression option in SPSS. Well, how would you run regression models if you don't have to, if you're not required to use the regression option? I will tell you the details later. And secondly, if you are using categorical variables, you must recode them before you enter them in SPSS. So let me explain what I mean by this. This puzzle will make sense if you understand the two variable types. Essentially, we have two primary types of variables, the categorical variables and the continuous variables. Think of the employment status. It is either employed or unemployed. And this is an example of a binary categorical variable that has two categories. Or it could have more than two categories or in, in some order as well. For example, the number of siblings. You can have no siblings, one sibling, two or more siblings. So there's an order and there's more than two categories. On the other hand, the continuous variables are age, income, price, they can take pretty much any value um, and therefore are quite different from categorical variables. If you're familiar with regression and SPSS, you will click on analyze, re click on regression, click on linear, and you will get a dialog box that looks like this. Now notice in this dialog box, you have the space for an independent variable and space for independent variables. But these independent variables are not differentiated by type whether they are categorical variables or continuous variables, they are all dumped and into one, one category. And that's not what you really intend. What you really want is the option of separating the categorical variables from continuous variables. More on this later. Now let's get to point number two. The way SPSS enters the categorical variables in a regression model is that it uses the higher category of the categorical variable as a reference in regression type models. Let me explain. Let's say you have a variable called female and it's coded as one if female and zero otherwise. And this is usually we do with most of other software like SAS and SPSS uh, Stata and R. Now SPSS will use one which is female as a reference category and report the coefficient for the condition coded as zero. So there will be no variable or coefficient reported for category one because it's the higher category and it a coefficient will be reported for the value for zero which is the in this particular case male. So you have a coefficient for the variable female but the reported coefficient is for male and not female but that's not what we intended. So how do we fix it? we can recode the variable. We keep one for female. Instead of using zero for otherwise, we use two for otherwise. This way, the reference category would be two, and the reported coefficient would be for the value one, which is what we really intended. So problem solved. But let's do it ourselves. The way to do it is uh, to work with a problem. I have a data set and a problem. The problem is, do good-looking professors receive higher teaching evaluations from students? It's a data from the University of Texas, um, which was collected by Professor Daniel Hammermish. And the data set is available at this particular location, sites.google.com forward slash site forward slash 101 regressions forward slash home forward slash r intro. When you get to this long URL, and I apologize for the long URL, you will see this web page and there will be teachings rating data in SPSS format. If you click on it, you can download the data set. And then let's work through it on in SPSS to see how it really happens. The dependent variable is teaching evaluation, so I put it the teaching evaluation under dependent. I take the female instructor um, uh, variable as an independent variable and also include the normalized beauty score. I don't do, need to do anything else. Notice that female instructor is a categorical variable, whereas normalized beauty score is a continuous variable, but there's no way of fixing this in the typical regression uh, dialog box. I will press OK. Now let's look at the output. The regression output is here, and we see the coefficient for female instructor is negative, minus 0.198. And the constant here is for male instructors um, representing their average teaching evaluation score, uh, provided that they have received the same value for their normalized beauty score. Now, this model technically is correct. The coefficients are fine. And this is the coefficient reported for female instructor. But 
the reality is that the model has treated um, the binary variable as a continuous variable, even though it is reporting the correct coefficients. This could become problematic if it were uh, an ordinal variable or um, a multinomial variable where um, the categories were more than two, and that would be a problem. So to avoid that, what we really need to do is to use another option in SPSS under Analyze, General Linear Model, Univariate, and in this case here, we can pick the teaching evaluation score as a dependent variable. Um, and now female instructor, which is quoted here, um, f as a fixed factor, and that's where the categories or categorical variables go. And then pick um, the beauty score as a covariate, that's where the continuous variables go. Click on model, select build terms, select main effects, and then take these two select them and move them over under model, make sure that the intercept is selected, include intercept, continue, and then under options ensure that you have parameter estimates reported, continue, and this would give you the, the output is out there. So if you look at this output now, you will see that the intercept is different from the one that we saw earlier, and the coefficients that we see here, uh, for example, uh, under female is female is equal to zero, which is for males, which is 0.198. So therefore, you take the intercept plus this coefficient, and you get the teaching evaluation score for male. And for the category female equal to 1, we have nothing there, which is 0. Um, so that's the challenge that I was mentioning. And to, uh, to fix this, what we really need to do is to recode the variable. To recode, we click on transform, recode into different variables, uh, click on the variable female, instructor, bring it here. Let's call it uh, binary underscore female. Label it as female instructor and change, click on change and all the new values. So one was for female, it remains as one and we can add it and then zero should be coded as two. This is the category to represent male. So female remains one as one and zero becomes two. So this time the reference category would be two. So say continue. Okay. This should have created the new variables. Let's just check on it. Looks like it has been created. We go back to univariate model teaching evaluations. We take this variable out and replace it with our new variable. Um, and then click on model to make sure that these two variables are there main, under main effects, build terms, main effects, two variables continue, make sure the intercept is included. And then we click on options, parameter estimates we need, continue, OK. And now we have the coefficient reported for binary female 1, which is minus 0 0.198, and the intercept holding the beauty score constant is 4.082, which is conditional mean for males.